So this is Chris. Chris has uh, rheumatoid arthritis, so he it's quite painful for him to use a mouse um, or the touchpad. So he tries to um, use the keyboard. And the simulation here is it doesn't really simulate anything except that you cannot use the mouse. So when I'm moving the mouse here outside on the top of the browser, it's, the, the pointer is showing, but when I move down, it's just not showing, so you cannot actually use it. So you have to use the tab key to move between different um, focusable interac uh, interactive things, like links and form elements. So when you use the tab key, you go to the next thing. And when you use shift and tab together, you can go back. Um, if you want to test things that has radio buttons and checkboxes, they're a bit different. You need to use the arrow keys to go in between them and the space bar to select. And you can always use enter to follow a link or submit a form and escape to close things. Um, Chris has just started to use voice control. We have one voice control tool here. It's a quite simple one. But it's this icon here at the top, the person with like a speech bubble. I'll show you how to use it now. It brings up things that um, tells you how to use it. You can read that. And as you can also see, it tries to interpret everything I'm saying. So I'll stop talking to you now and only talk to the tool. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll up, scroll up, click. It's not working very well. <laughs> click two. As you can see, it um, scroll scroll up and scroll down, scrolls up and scroll scrolls down. When you say click, it gives you different numbers, and you just have to say the number that you want to click. <laughs> 